Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Chusatsu, first graduation time after time. Without even noticing, she let the words escape her mouth. Looked at the waves of people flowing around her. More specifically, their hands. A seal? What does that mean? Holy moly, that's kind of cool, but kind of scary. Maybe? Aru looked at her own right hand, her dominant hand. She shook her head like a dog. What? Oh, wait, re examination? She failed it the first time? Why do you fail that? I thought you just. I mean, you just. You don't ever fail, right? Because then you just get. Well, I guess if she wants to be a government uh, employee, then I guess that's why she's doing it again. She mustered her resolve beneath the sunny skies of spring. Her name was. Marisugawa Aru. A plain looking girl. Although the kind of girl who looks good in glasses would also would have also been an acceptable description. I don't know. We gotta we gotta see if, you know when she wears glasses or not. Her hobby was manga. She liked reading them but enjoyed writing her own even more. She was fifteen years and four months old. Oh, she should just do manga then. She had the traits of a hard worker. Along with the traits of an airhead. Aru would focus on whatever she was doing. As a result, the time she spent raising her compatibility rating during her mandatory education period was quite fruitful. That's awesome. She also spent a long time in the hospital. Why? She initially contracted the, the disease back in the first year of middle school. What? The, what kind of disease? What disease is this? What? It was a paradoxical time of self-loving and self-loathing. The disease was not fatal. She had already conquered it. But with the two years of hospitalization and in-home quarantine, wh what kind of disease is this? Her attendance rate plummeted. Her grades in the primary subjects plummeted. As all the other categories in the compatibility examination plummeted. All red. What? What does that mean? Then you leave me to be allowed to start over. I ended up graduating from middle school. What? You? Are you kidding me? You can't, you can't restart? You can't like, you know, go back a grade a bit? You know, because I mean, I'm, I'm two years in the hospital, that's gonna, that's gonna stunt someone's growth. Mentally. As a result. Type, needlessly diligent girl. Characteristics, extreme nervousness. Notes from a societal point of view, your stage fright is quite problematic, you know. Okay, well, I mean, everyone has stage fright, okay? Everyone has their own anxieties, okay? Her stats looked more or less like that. I actually don't know if... Okay, so I, I know that, you know, people are smart enough, they can, you know, skip a grade, but is that actually a wise thing to do? Because if you skip a grade in, like, elementary school, you're gonna miss some important basic knowledge from, from elementary school, you know? It, it, I, I'm pretty sure, you know, like, left hand, right hand, and all that stuff. Or counting fingers, I don't know. It's something, something small that we, you know, take everything for granted right now. But like, if you ever skip one of those grades, something's not gonna, you know, ingrained in there somewhere. Yeah! Jumped up, startled by the sudden vibration of her smartphone. Oh, oh, it is. How do you know? How do you know it's from your mom? Can we see? Oh, I don't even see her phone. Never mind. Yeah, the big green one, not the red one. Oh. 
So in this, in this universe of hers, in this, I guess, unified Earth government thing, the, the, the mar, the marriage age is 16? Does that mean, does that mean they're an adult at 16? Does that mean they're legal age? That's, okay, well, huh. Okay, that's, huh. Oh. Yeah, I I'm still thinking about that for a bit, you know, you know, 16 is the legal age, like my eyes, you can't see it, but my eyes are like wide open like saucers, you'd be like, I don't know about that, I don't know, I, I like, in this universe, is that okay? Is that, is that like, 16? Well, at she's not being forced into marriage, that's a whole different thing, that's a whole, you know, that's a whole different thing. I mean, at least she can choose, you know, that's, that's, that's good. Is it chocolate? Is it pencils? Colored pencils? Crayons. <gasps> A coloring book. Bye bye. Wait, what? But I I thought you were gonna I thought she was handing it to the you know the brother. You call ended. I was arm spell limped her size like a pair of weights. Talking with her family had always carried a bit of a burden on her heart. She didn't hate them by any means. Her younger years were filled with smiles nurtured by bonds strong enough to overcome her impoverished lifestyle. Oh man. I wish I wish those bonds were there for me in the younger years. Oh. She did actually regard them fondly, and for that very reason, her past was unforgivable. Man, even so. Oh, a oh, woman. Man, even so, what a coincidence. We haven't even... Yeah, we haven't seen each other since the graduation ceremony. Then she heard some voices from behind. Hey, come to think of it, I don't believe I've ever asked, but how was the result of your compatibility examination, Miso? Hmm, Soko, you went on to university, right? Yep, I'm studying at Japan University's Dep Department of Law. Wow, that means you succeeded at becoming the ideal girl. I'm jealous. Oh, what about you, Miso? I'm a lion working at the bread factory. Oh. Yes, your compatibility examination results didn't let you move on to university then. Wow. Th those, th really? Those really put you, you know, into university or not? Wow. Yeah, my job is to make sure there aren't any, there aren't any defects among whole melon wrappers. Makes you wonder what the compati compatibility for a line worker really is. Exactly, I work 10 hours a day, 5 days a week, well, even ignoring all that, it's a super boring job and the pay isn't all that great, so I'm worried if I can really keep doing it my whole life. Yeah, see, that's what I mean, if you, if you, like, can't do this, then, like, then you're screwed. I mean, I, you can retake it, right? I hope you can retake it. I see. But since that's the law, I have to spend my whole life shipping off whole melons for other people to enjoy. Wait, what? You can't retake it? Okay, that sucks. This, this place sucks. If you can't retake it, then that sucks. Oh man, I really want to experience campus life. Ah, uh. Miso, you dimwit. What? That's getting an authority seal is ready an accomplishment in itself. Some people out there can't even get a hold of what we take for granted each day. Your attitude is disrespectful to those poor and sad people. Hmm, well, I guess that's true. That's right, live a proactive life. Oh, okay, oh yeah. Also, uh... <laughs> Uh, I forgot to mention, the beginning of the game, it, this is a big warning, big warning, it says, this game does not mean to discriminate anyone, it does, this game is not discriminating anyone, D don't, don't be discriminated by this game. Uh, pretty much that's, it's just one line, but, you know, I, I added a lot of those other stuff, just, you know, this game is not meant to discriminate anyone. 
just just putting it out there. I probably should have said it, you know, beginning the first episode, but um, yeah, I forgot. Or this episode, actually. I'm actually glad that they uh that they talk or you know they actually yeah yeah the voice actor talks um with the parentheses because usually that's like in the thought bubble in the you know thinking so uh, usually I have to be the one talking but they're talking so that's awesome I like that you clench your fists tightly or plain white fists just the hue of fresh snow completely whitened without any sort of any dirt or stains she's the porcelain she's white as porcelain. Well, I mean, except for that, that, that woman B, that's a whole different story. By the way, that girl. Yeah, she's wearing a casual outfit. And look, there's nothing in either of her hands. She's one of them, isn't she? Oh, here we go. Well, that's how it is. She looks younger than us, but... In fact, she's not wearing a uniform. And that she has no seal can only mean... A Chusatsu! Okay, I don't know what that means. Oh, She's a Chusatsu, right? What's a Chusatsu? Is that is that a bad thing? Oh. I kind of feel sorry for her, so let's go. Looking at her gives me the motivation to live on as a whole melon worker. We've got to give our thanks to that unemployed girl. Wow. Well. Looks like she broke. We gave a statue. She, she got, she got Medusa. Uh, it's game over now. <laughs> nope, she's going crazy. All right, that's even worse. Her soul broke free of the prison known as the body. So this was what ascending to heaven felt like, not even close. Altitude 10,000 meters. In middle school, I will work hard on the five main subjects with a focus on PE, which I'm bad at, and society, especially society, in order to become a government employee. 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 Alright, I, I guess, I guess, I guess Ari really did go to heaven. Why? Well, big sis became an elite, right? Isn't that why I'm studying this hard? I'm holding back on manga, even spending all my spare time studying. Why? What? What? Oh, okay, th It has been over a hundred years since the United People's Federation was born as a result of a successful worldwide revolution. Do, do I have to press something? I'm afraid to press something. I, I guess I press something. Alright. The P3 law, which was enacted as soon as the Federation was established, obligates every member of the human race to wear an authorized power certificate, also known as Authorization CO. The authorization seal is a nano machine system that strengthens the wearer's abilities depending on their job arbitrarily assigned through aptitude tests by the authorities. Aptitude test, that was what I was thinking of before. We're trying to. Wait, strengthens the wearer's abilities? What does that mean? So it makes you smarter? So if, if you're going to like university, they make you smarter or something? What? That's crazy. As a seal gained through these tests cannot be replaced, you'll be stuck with the same job the rest of your life. On the other hand, your job will remain safe and secure unless you commit a crime. Holy moly! As a result, the populace is no longer concerned about its welfare. Well, I mean, that's a good thing, and the bad thing is that you... Pretty much, you can't leave that job forever, ever, ever. 
Uh, that is to say, the people who have gained lives without any financial trouble through the sacrifice of free choice of employment. At first, the citizens accepted this and gradually started enjoying it. It did not take long until the P3 law had become a given. No one is required to get a job. No competition arises under the law. Well, I'm... Hmm. Well, I'm... Hmm. So, the aptitude test... I mean... I mean, it's... it. I don't know if it's a good thing, actually, right now. Because if you want to go... Go for like a doctorate, you know, go to become a doctor. You just try, you just, you know, you do your best and then you, and then you become like a line worker and it's like, oh, uh, and then you're sad forever. Great. Well, anyone can live a clean and righteous life with a smile alongside someone important to them. Before long, people quit having dreams for the future. Wow, that's, that sucks. Ideals, dreams, and competition have been overwhelmed by fairness and equity and eventually forgotten. No, no one, no one ever forgets about competition. Are you serious? No one forgets about that. The very concept of dreams has faded away. Wait, so what if the people, you know, that are going to the uh, government, you know, employ, like become a senate or something, you know, congress, be part of congress. Like how, how does that work? How, like if there's too many people, you know, joining the congress, like how do they kick out the other people? Some call this world a dreamless world. Well, that's great. Good. Good. I'm glad. The P3 law has brought equality and equity to the world. Equality and equity. This is a philosophical story of how three good for nothing Chusatsu girls spend a peculiar part of their youth in a world where the authorized power certificate decides everything from jobs to abilities to personal income. Woo boy. Wait, what the heck? CSE up to test P3 law global people federation. Okay. That was super fast. Aw, that's cute. Main Street. Now I'm gonna end the episode here, everybody. Wow, I thought she died and went to heaven. Well, I guess it, she didn't, but... Wow. Okay, well, she's she's not in heaven then. Huh. Well, anyways. We will find out where she is in the next episode, everybody. Well, I mean, besides the main street. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this episode, then please smash that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. And don't forget to hit that bell too, to also get notifications of my uploads. Thank you everybody for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!